Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about the positioning property in CSS. So let's not waste time and get started. Now let's talk about the CSS positioning property. Alright, now the position basically specifies the type of positioning method that we use for any HTML element. Okay, so how do we do, do that? Let me just remove all this. Okay, let's save it and let's just keep this right there. And let me just remove all this stuff. Now, what we are going to do is, I'm going to create a div. And let's uh, have anything, any text in this div. Let's say, this is a static div. Now, why do I write static? Let me save it and this is a static div will be here. Let's give it some styling. I will target this div and I will give it a border. Let's give it a margin first. Let's say margin of 30 pixels, save it and we have a margin. Let's give it a border of two pixel solid and green and save it. So this is a static div. What do we mean by static? Now note that all the HTML elements are by default in static position. Okay, a static position means that it is in the normal flow. It is it is in the normal flow of the page, basically. All right, static is nothing. It is just a normal position. Okay, so if here inside this div, I'm going to write position static, nothing will happen. It's the same one thing because it is already static by default. So this is the first type of positioning. Now we have a second type of positioning as well. That positioning is called as a relative. So I'm going to set this to a relative. As you can see, the box's position is calculated according to the normal flow. Then the box is offset relative to its normal position. So the normal position is this right now, all right? But when I say relative and save it, nothing will happen. Why will nothing happen? Because Let's understand the literal meaning it's relative to something. So basically it's relative to its parent here. The parent here is the viewport or in simple terms in our index.js or our sorry, our index.html, this div, who, who is this div's parent? Of course, the body, the body. Who is the body? Our whole HTML document. So we are essentially talking about the viewport, whatever we see in our browser here. So simply it is relative to that. So in, in, in relation to the screen, I want this div to be from top, let's say 100 pixels. When I save it, as you can see, the distance from this border to top is 100 pixels. So this was positioning of a relative. So this was position set to a relative. Now after this, we have something called as position fixed. How can we check that? Let me just go back to index.html. Let me create some multiple elements here. For example, I will create some headings. This is a heading. Let's create a couple of these. I'm just, this is for the purpose of demonstration, a paragraph. Let's say a paragraph of 100 words, something like this. Still, it's not cool. Actually, it's inside this too. Yeah, it's, it's outside this too. But yeah, you got my point. This is because of the positioning part. Let me just remove this positioning part now. Something like this. And yeah, there you go. Now, instead of this paragraph, I can have another paragraph, let's say lorem of 300 words. And as you can see, we now have the scroll bar. Now, why am I showing you this? I'll let you know. For example, you may have seen on many websites, we have scroll bars that are sticky on top, that are stick to top, right? So basically, we can do this with this div as well. I'm just going to remove this margin. We don't need it. It's on top, right? Now, I want this to be stick. For that, we also have a position property. I'm going to write position and I'm going to write fixed. I'll say fixed, save. And as you can see, this position by default, it's fi fixed on top. Okay, so this position is fixed on top. Now, what happens when we change the position property to fix? What happens is by default, this div is actually a block level element, but uh, it changes it to inline element when we change its position to fixed. Right. So if I say fixed, then I can have any position. For example, I want it to be fixed from top zero or basically from top 20 pixels and save it. Now it's fixed to 20 pixels and I want it to be from the right side 10 pixels. So this will grow to right side. Now, even if I scroll down, it will always be there. OK, let me just have much more paragraphs here. Something like lorem 500, save it. Now, if I scroll, as you can see, if it is visible, I'm just going to give it a background color of red. Okay, something like this. Now, even if I scroll down, as you can see, this div is going to be fixed. 
here on top right corner of our web page so this is how we use position fixed property and this is you will see many of the websites out there use this position fixed property to make their nav bar fixed on top all right now next up we have another type of positioning for for that i'm just going to remove all of these huge paragraphs we don't need them so i'm just going to remove all the headings and save it so we have this div right now and let me just remove its positioning okay something like this and it's back to normal let me remove the background color as well now here understand we have a div here okay let me just remove this one save it i'm going to remove the style also we have nothing here now i'm going to create something i'm going to create a div and i'm i will give it a class of parent okay then inside parent i will create another div and give it a class of child very similar to parents and children right now we have this div now to sh see this div we need to give them some content right so let me just say this is parent and this is child and save it we have it here let's just give them some width i'm just going to target the parent give it a width of 500 pixels maybe a height of 500 pixels give it a background color of something black right if i save it it's something like this the text is not visible so to text for the text color to change i'll write color set to white and save it and we have the color right now i will target the child as well similarly the child is going to be uh, something like it uh, it must have a width of 100 which which by default it has so let's say the height should be 200 pixels now it's not visible but we can make it visible by changing the background color to something called as this big yeah the child is visible but its color is not so i will change the color of the text to black and so this is the parent and this is the child okay now more to be more specific i'm going to introduce images here so i've already have some images you can also take some images from the internet i'm just going to paste a couple of images here in our chapter four and we have these images now what about those images is that let me just close this what i'm going to do is for our parent container inside our child container what am i going to do is i'm going to have an image tag and the image will be my image what is the name it's image one and image two let's pick anyone so i'll just write image one and save it and the image should be here it is not visible it's definitely visible we need to change its size so i'm just going to target my image i'll write image and change its width to something like 100 pixels maybe and yeah it's something like that we can have all of this gone we don't need this styling so as you can see this is the children right this whole black box is the parent and this image is a children right it is a div that has image inside so we can say this is a children this is a child image right now we want to move this image what we want to do is we want to move this image so basically what i'm what am i going to do is dot child i will target my child div and for this child div i'm going to give it a position of absolute position of absolute once i save it nothing happens we need to understand that when an element is positioned absolute it basically means we are positioning it absolute in in the relative to its what to its parent to its parent so for uh, in order for this child to be positioned absolute we need the parent to be a relative so we are going to give this parent a position of relative okay now once i save it nothing will happen but now we can have multiple things as you can see the image uh, all right it's fine now i can say for example from the bottom i want it to be 20 pixels i'll save it and as you can see the child that has this image here it's not being positioned from the bottom of the screen to 20 pixels instead it's being positioned 20 pixels from its parent so the distance from the in this black box from this from this edge all the way to this image is 20 pixels right similarly i can say from the right it should be 30 pixels now notice it will not go here it will instead charge the 30 pixels from this corner all the way to here so if i save it as you can see the image is here 
so this is how the positioning basically works now note that the the absolute positioning does one thing it is it 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 basically removes the element from normal flow and it can also overlap some elements and we will talk about it later on as we move to the other properties like we have the z index properties for that all right now there is another position property that we are going to talk about that is the sticky property now earlier we talked about the position fixed right and what happened in that the position was fixed anywhere we will uh, we uh, we were just going to put that element and it remained fixed to that portion even if we scroll the screen now position fixed or position fixed was one thing now position sticky is a bit different from that how can we do it i'm just going to remove this position relative from the parent let's remove these values and this one also and let's save it and it should be back to the original something like this now basically if i write position sticky here for this children i'll write for this child i'll write position sticky nothing will happen and to basically demonstrate this what i'm going to do is i'm going to index.html and here i'll write a big paragraph let's say a paragraph of 400 words so lorem 400 and hit enter and save and yeah you have a 400 worded paragraph it's just the browser is loading because the image is uh, a bit big in size i would say now let's get back to the content so in the style.css i have written the position sticky next i'm going to have something for the position sticky i'm going to say from top it should be 20 pixels if i save it or not 20 let's say 50 pixels as you can see from the top it has a width or uh, basically a gap of 50 pixels but when i scroll the screen it's going to be sticky now as you can see something like this but sticky in what in to its parent because there is a parent dev inside right so as you can see this image this image this image div is inside this parent div right so it will be sticky to this parent only so as you can see to this parent only it's sticky right so that is what the difference is between position sticky and position fixed all right that will be enough for this video in the next video we will learn about the concept of css flexbox so make sure to subscribe to the channel hit that like button and i will see you in the next video